Hello friends and welcome back to this crazy game as Mapuchi. This episode is all about setting up our mid game. We're settling lots of cities, we're getting everything built, we're putting our districts down. We're really trying to figure out how we want to approach the game. We're getting closer and closer to our raider units, which may or may not be the start of our domination battle in this one. Before we hop in though, if you enjoy this series, if you enjoy this video, if you enjoy this content, feel free to hit the like and subscribe button. Also make sure you're checking the links in the description for our Twitch channel. We play live there a few times a week. Also our Discord is a great place to just hang out and talk about Civ or anything else. Especially if you're new to Civ, there's a few channels in there for you to ask questions, post photos, things like that. So that's all available for you. Otherwise, let's hop back in to this wild Mapuche game. All right, guys, welcome back in. We are back here in the crazy Mapuche game with a whole bunch of game modes on. I think we have everything but the tech and civic shuffle. Anyway, things are going really well for us. We have Toa. We have the Oracle, so it's a really good early setup. Lots of great person points. We'll be talking a lot about the Oracle as we go along here. The Toa helps us get these high population numbers, and that's really good because we're going to need those numbers to put down lots of districts in the Oracle City so we can get more great person points, but also because this volcano is going to be taking out a lot of our population here, which is part of the fun and the charm of playing on Apocalypse Mode, but still a problem that we need to keep in mind. Uh, one of the only things I think is going wrong for for us here is that by the time we actually come and take over england i think she might be in a dark age which which negates the uh, effect of our plus 10 combat strength a little bit i'm not too worried because it looks like we're going to be able to out tech her which is fine but i'd also like to start exploring and i can't because of the byrene here i can't build units good enough to kill the the byrene so what we're going to do instead is we're just going to pump out a few settlers get some more cities settled we certainly want one more city here to kind of block off england a little bit maybe even one down here we definitely need one up here by the iron we also have cocoa we want to grab there's more iron here as well we certainly need this plus four harbor down here the marble uh, monopoly is going to be helpful but without this plus four harbor we're going to be short on era score and we want to take every opportunity for era score that we can get we have a few good districts we want to put down and those districts have things on them that we need to remove we don't have magnus though so it's totally fine to just chop them out now so we shall do that indeed getting this settler faster i'd love to get this one start to come down before beowulf's lifespan ends just to make sure we have a little bit of a, a coverage here but we can start chopping these tiles as needed <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Uh, minus five population in the capital ladies and gentlemen Minus five population in the capital. <laughs> oh no. Woo! We love apocalypse mode. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And the mine's been ruined. And these tiles didn't even improve that much. <laughs> okay. This is awesome. I, I, I do enjoy this very much. As you're going through the game, make sure you're paying attention to your boosts. We are going to mine this resource because we have this iron here. We know that's going to happen so we can tech out of this. We still want sailing. Absolutely. We've already boosted that. Might as well get sailing in the meantime while we know we're going to come and mine this iron here. It just helps really make sure that you're being as efficient as possible in your uh, tech trees. We see a British boat unit here, a galley, so we know that this comes around here, that this continent swings around, which is good for us. Hopefully this galley can help kill the Byreme that's in the area. I'm going to send this settler right here to, to cut this area off, and then we'll get these horses. I also want to be on this floodable river to, to maximize the yields we're getting, because this river keeps flooding and making those tiles better. Yeah, that whole situation was rather unfortunate. Not a bad time for a theater square, though. I'll just take a look at how many cities we're going to need. Maybe we need to pump out one more settler, but we'll take a look at it. I think we're definitely going to want one more settler. I do really want a plus four theater square to go down right away, though. And so we will grab this plus four theater square here and put that down and then worry about a settler afterwards. Governor promotion is in. I'm certainly going to head for a little bit of science here. We want to make sure we're keeping up with Vicky. She's in a tight spot, so she's not going to be able to out-tech us, but it doesn't seem like we're going to be able to out-tech her super quickly, so we just want to keep up with her, and that's perfectly fine. Wonder production card comes out. We still want to keep Mandala stayed in. I could also put monumentality in quickly and purchase a settler, right? Because one settler is not going to be overly expensive. And I can just purchase that right away and kind of have that finished. 
The problem is I have to take Mandala State out to do that. And I don't really want to do that until I know I can afford it. So maybe at the next switch, I'll buy a settler. Yeah, the next switch, I'll buy a settler for sure. I think for now, though, we'll go plus one production in all cities just to speed things up a little bit. Making sure we're trading our resources. I probably won't show too many of these, but just as your resources come up for trade, as you have duplicates, you want to make sure you're getting the gold per turn you can for them. I found another city here. So sometimes when you settle cities, you can settle them because they have really good tiles, because they have really good districts. I'm going to settle this city right here, not because it's a very good city to settle, but because I can make the most out of the districts. If we're going to put a dam and an aqueduct down, I might as well throw an industrial zone on this end. This is a really good harbor as well, giving us another opportunity for that error score if we don't get it down here quickly enough. Also, this city still grabs the iron and still grabs the cocoa that I'm hoping it will grab. So overall, not a perfect city. I think production and food wise you're probably better off coming over this way but in terms of good districts right i think i think these two are probably the best we're going to get out of a city here while we're not fighting barbs i'm going to double up equestrian orders quickly just so i can have some iron in reserve maybe to sell it maybe not to sell it but just so it's there in case we do need it it's just all ready to go i'm also thinking about putting monumentality and i don't think we're quite at the point where we're going to be able to buy a settler yet um, what we are going to do though is go into monumentality uh, after naval tradition and then come back for recorded history because that'll be a quick flip and then we're not losing the eight culture for very long I'm going to grab a builder here and chop these out. With the 20% growth in this city, I really do want to take advantage of a granary here and make sure we're putting lots of farms down in this city as we go along. You want to make that as efficient as possible, I think. I'm going to trade down to Vatican City, not because it's the best trade road, but this road is really, really helpful. The more roads we have in here, the easier time we're going to have coming to kill Vicky whenever we decide to do that, which we almost certainly will. So getting this road here can be helpful. It's definitely worth not having the extra one gold per turn when we're already doing good for, for gold. That's plus three error score for our theater square, which is perfect. This is what I'm talking about. You can only get this bonus once per district type, but it is worth, we got the theater square on. We want to make sure we're getting a plus three campus and a plus four commercial hub to get as many of these three error scores as possible. Let's start with the commercial hub. I know getting the theater square here is probably better overall, but I really want to start getting another trade route out there, especially as we are trading, um, as we're going to be trading over water shortly, getting that extra trade route is really, really helpful. I'm going to head down and grab Grants here. Grants synergizes really well with the Oracle to maximize the great person points we're going to be getting out of Stokey's dedicated party city. We also need to figure out our other districts in this city. Where do we want to put them? What do we want to do with them? We want maximum districts here. They don't always need to be the best districts. They just need to be there for the great person points. I'm thinking we want an industrial zone and a commercial up here for great engineer and merchant points. We also want a campus for great scientist points. Maybe over here is a plus three campus. So we'll, we'll try and figure that out soon. All right, so we are able to take Antananarivo away from Victoria. That's really, really good for us. And Simbad is huge. So now we have a choice between Simbad and Hercules. Unless someone's taken Simbad. No one's taken Simbad. So Simbad is huge because of the error score we can get from circumnavigating and the error score we get from meeting everybody else in the game. So it's definitely worth taking a look at Simbad in a city where we might be able to get him. I'm gonna grab ancient walls in the capital here. We'll chop them out really quick. I want that for the aqueduct boost. If we take a look at the boost down here, build ancient walls is the boost to grab aqueducts, which is important because we can now build our industrial zones up here. So I do wanna get this aqueduct down as quickly as possible. We already have our first great writer and we're getting that with six great writer points per turn, which feels really good. No one else in the game is really even doing that. So you can see how the Oracle with just one theater square, no amphitheater, no nothing is really, really pumping out the, the great writer points. Then Pingala is topping them off with his grants ability. It's just a very functional uh, system. I can't even use this great writer. I need to get the amphitheater. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Oh, hello, Teddy. Yo. Hi, how are you? Where are you at? Where did we meet you? Ooh, we met you on English shores. Interesting. I'm still ready to start getting some units out here. I'm going to go campus adjacency. We have a few um, campuses coming down. I also think I do need to slide in monumentality. I know we lose the culture, which really sucks. But it does allow us to buy a settler up here and settle this city. Oh, it doesn't! 
It doesn't. Now it costs 580 for a settler. I thought it was going to be like 400. Oh, well, that is so dumb. Oh, that is so dumb. That feels so bad, dude. That feels so bad. I mean, at least we're gonna we're gonna get it. We're gonna get it by the time. Oh man, that sucks. That just sucks. Whoops. All right, another era. Another golden age. Yeah, Vicky hit a dark age, which really sucks for her. Trey, unfortunate. It does mean though she's less likely to get murdered by us, which is nice for her, I guess. I'm definitely going to want plus production towards campuses if I can get it. We have two campuses going down. I want to build those districts in there as early or as quickly as possible. No great profit points earned. Plus 100 productions towards campuses is perfect. I am going to grab one more settler here. We're going to buy one with faith before this policy swap. And I do want to grab one more here. We know we're going to put the settler here. I know I want to put a settler down here as well on this side. I also might want to grab some settlers up here. We can wait for that though, or build them in cities with the industrial zones maybe. I do need one more settler out of this city. We can get the, the trade route now, so we will buy that. There's no one I particularly want to trade with, but as long as Vicky's stuck on three cities, we're going to be able to stay ahead of her anyways. There's our era score for the plus three campus. That is perfect. We are going to want to take a look at a holy site. Probably not in the city with Oracle because I don't need those points. But a two-turn library here is so efficient, which is why we voted for it in the, in the World Congress. This volcano doing work, though. That time it did not kill anything. Six food, five food, three food, four production. These are all really good tiles for us to have working. So with, I think with the Toa, I think the Toa keeps up with the population we're losing well enough that being able to work all these tiles that are consistently getting better is quite a fun way to play the game. I'm not gonna own two galleys. I do wanna head towards shipbuilding though. The problem is if I go towards shipbuilding, I still can't send any units out till cartography. So maybe that's not worth it for now. We'll just go for mathematics. I'm gonna sneak a builder real quick. If we are gonna build our government plaza soon, it needs to be in the city that ha has the most districts available. I think, as much as I really want to get a government plaza down by this plus four theater square, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to sneak the government plaza in here. Then I can chuck an aqueduct across this way. And then I can put a industrial zone here. What that does is it allows this industrial zone to be a plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four industrial zone, getting great engineer points in the Oracle City. It makes this a plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four theater square here. And then I can put something on this side, even maybe just a holy site, because that would still be plus two, even if it's not the best holy site. Generating faith is going to be helpful for us this game, right? A 4-2-2-1 tile is so good for Huili Mapu to work. Just so, so good. I love it. I love it. I'm going to rush towards universities, not because I think I can get them quickly, but because I want to build them while we still have this extra production towards building in our buildings in our campuses. I think that would be the best case scenario here is if I could build that university quickly. Surely we're on our way to a great scientist. We're getting there. We have eight great scientist points per turn, but someone has 13.8. That'll improve once this campus goes down, but not by a ton. I'm going to put veterancy in, 30% production towards encampment and harbor districts. That's going to be very helpful because we are going to start building a harbor here. I can actually start putting that down. I'm not sure we need the uh, the walls, but we'll finish them now that, we're, now that we are close. We're going to be putting one up here too once we can buy a settler next turn with monumentality. This uh, tobacco industry is going to go down. This gives us extra production towards military units in this city, which is good for us to keep in mind. So we definitely want an encampment to be built here so we can build military units. I don't see a lot of other good districts anyway, so maybe this is a good spot for a bunch of lumber mills and an encampment to just pump out units as we need them up in Huili Mapu because we're going to get the extra production towards them. This is a fantastic great merchant to get early on. Increases trade route capacity by one. Foreign trade routes to the city provide plus two gold to both cities. We the problem is we want that to be in one of our coastal cities because that's where most of our trade routes are going to come in and out throughout the game once we meet everybody. So you kind of want it to be in, in one of the cities over here. I don't really want to wait that long to use it though. So I think I'll just use it in the city we can get it in. 
I certainly want to build an encampment here. It's going to be the first district we put down. It's not a very good encampment per se. It's not in a great location, but I'm hoping to just really go hard on the production in this city as high as we can get it. We'll get a little bit of production from a factory in here as well, and then we can just really start grinding out some lumber mills and pumping out some units as we need them today. Because this is going to be a military game, I really like the idea of Liang on an apocalypse map, and I think she would be really good. My, one of my favorite things to do, that I know we haven't done a domination game in a while, is to grab Victor and use some of his abilities to get free promoted spies and a little bit of extra experience. So putting Victor in Huili Mapu, who's going to start to build some units for us, is a really, really good idea. What we're looking for here is the Embrasure promotion. City gains an additional range strike, that's fine. Military units trained in the city start with a free promotion that do not already start with one, right? So we're gonna, any military units, spies and units that we build here are gonna start with a free promotion. And you can add that up over the course of a game and that's gonna be a lot of free promotions. I wanted to keep the clan in the game here so I could buy a Caravel unit from it, but what I wanted to do more than that though was get the error score, so a clearing the camp was just a, a smart choice. We're not gonna go vampires this game, as fun as that would be. I didn't discover them early enough. Um, so we're gonna be building Gilded Vaults, baby. Gilded Vaults. We just got the card to boost the adjacency of theater squares combined with Mandala State going back in. That's gonna be a huge boost for us in terms of the culture we are able to get here. Now we're up to 73 culture, 30 more than Teddy, 30 more than Victoria. And those numbers really help put us in front in this game. The fact that we're ahead by turn 104 is very, very, very nice. I'm not gonna renew my friendship with Vicky. Uh, I think the death is coming for her sooner rather than later. So I'm just gonna make sure whenever we can go and ruin her life a little bit that we can do that. We are gonna produce Sinbad here. I think Sinbad's a really good pickup for us just in the game. There's gonna be a lot of naval stuff going on. I think Sinbad will be helpful. So we're gonna grab a builder here, work the horses, grab the turtles for some amenities and make sure we're, we're good to go here and, and getting this as quickly as possible. Taking advantage of these five turn universities, just like I had hoped for, we're gonna get a lot of science from this. Once the library's done, we'll grab them here. And that's gonna be a very good use of our Diplo favor in this government. Oh, an unmet player has been defeated. Yo, yo, someone's dead. Oh God, okay, we got some competition in this one. We don't know who it is. It's not America though. It's not America. We don't know who it is. That's fascinating that someone got taken over, though. Maybe Teddy did the taking over. As mentioned earlier, we have made this a plus four theater square just by good districting, getting the government plaza in a good spot with a commercial hub next to it. Uh, overall, this is just a very good theater square to get down, so we shall. I am focused on some of the military stuff. I want to get our Navy rolling. I want to be able to go on open ocean tiles. I want to know what's out there. Sinbad's going to let us know. And from that point, we can decide what we need to do, whether we need to circle back a little bit and come for um, a land military to start. Obviously, we don't need much to take over uh, what's going on here. It doesn't seem like, so we'll be fine. Uh, so I think going for a strong Navy first before we come take over Vicky might be a good idea. We are going to move into Merchant Republic. That's gonna give us production towards districts, a little bit of extra gold as well, which is really nice. Always handy dandy to have, and some error score, which hey, at this point is awesome. Certainly gonna put Merchant Confederation in for the gold. How else do I wanna approach this here? I think I'll just go for production in all cities for now. It's not the best, but it's it's something. It's, it's definitely something. All right, so we've got Cartography. Oh, it's Cartography's already boosted. Never mind, we're finishing it. Cartography is boosted. We are finishing it. We have a barbing. This is definitely a barbing cannon that became a city-state because of the white lines around it. So this barbarian setup, um, it actually makes it nice because now there's less barbs on the water to, to murder us, which is awesome. I have more great writers that I know what to do with, but we can just keep them around. They don't get any worse by having them hang out, so that's totally fine for now we're about to add a bunch of great engineer points into our pool where are we at with those instantly builds walls we are still on the first great engineer no one's really ratcheting up the points once we get this industrial zone down though we will start to do that <laughs> another two population knocked off in stogie's dedicated party city man we're having such a good time over here this volcano is so fun Hello, friend. So, uh, plundering barbarian boats with Simbad is going to give us 500 gold, right? 
So that 500 gold is now going to allow us to buy builders. And those builders can put farms on all these tiles to make sure we're getting nice high population cities here, which is very, very helpful. There's also a bunch of mines we can put down here. There's still lots we can do with our land. So I will be buying lots of builders to make, to make that work. And I'll do it after we put the builder card in. So all the builders we are building get... I'll actually swap this one out here. Uh, we'll make sure they get two extra build charges so we can really start getting some farm triangles down and start working our land a little better. Now it's time to circle back for the military stuff we're going to want to use to get rid of Victoria here. So lumber mills, crossbows, niter. I actually reveal niter first just so I know where it is. Then we'll come down for crossbows and make that work. We are at Embrasure now, which is perfect for us being at Embrasure. Will give us the ability to build units here with free promotions, which is awesome. In our card slot, we're going to take out production in all cities, and we are going to put in the one that gives your builders, where is it, an extra two charges, because we're about to buy a boatload of builders. Also, we're going to come up here, and we are going to finish that builder that we were building before. It should still be only one turn away. Perfect, we'll finish that up first now that we have that card and then we are good to go. We have minus 50% production awards units from the World Congress now combined, get out of here builder, combined with the 30% uh, here. So now we're gonna be able to make a lot of units really quickly. I'm gonna grab some archers really fast because I know we can boost crossbows if we get just a few more archers. So we'll start with that. And those archers will get a free promotion. So they start with garrison, which is just awesome. Hello, come here. Oh, you're a killable person. And Saladin. So those are the last two in the game. I wonder who it was. Oh, Saladin has 162 science. So Saladin's the one that did the killing earlier. I'm just wondering who it was that he killed. Now this early on, we know we're going to come for these guys here later. So I am going to go and I'm going to grab a friendship and an alliance with Teddy. Now, where is Teddy at? Teddy's got 90 science, so that's helpful. I definitely want a research alliance with Saladin if I can get it. Maybe a cultural alliance with Teddy will be helpful for us. Mostly, I just want the error score. Oh, it didn't give me error score. It gave me the boost, though. Either way, I thought it did give error score. Either way, um, I'll, I'll grab that boost. I'll also try and be uh, friends with Saladin. Delegation? Okay, we'll figure, we'll figure it out. I'm going to grab open borders with both these lads. 10 gold is fine, just so I can send my scout through their land and, and see what's going on and, and see what they're up to. I want to be able to search for the wonders they're building, so we can send our scout up through Saladin's land and, and see what's going on. And try and find a way to sneak this plus three holy site in before the era ends in seven turns. That'll be another three era score. We're going to get five from circumnavigating with Sinbad, so that's eight. So I'm just trying to find the last two era score. We're probably getting one from this great scientist here and one from this great merchant. So I think we will hit the 120 we need without too many issues. Saladin surely has loads of gold. Do you want this? Yeah, you do. Thanks, bud. Appreciate that, man. I thought we were going to circumnavigate. I don't think we are. Hopefully I can circumnavigate with the scout then. We're not too far off. But I don't think we're going to get it now. I thought Sinbad would make it through. Oh, no. This is an issue. We've got a caravel now. I don't know how far a caravel can go in six turns. I don't think five turns. I don't think it's enough to circumnavigate. We are so close though, man. We are so close. Oh, I don't think we're going to get it, though. I just don't think we're going to get it, and that feels so bad. We're going to grab an armory here. We need the armory to build military engineers, which will help build this dam quickly, so we shall do that. Yeah, I mean, I can chop out this holy site for three, and that's a start. We could yet cheese a Stonehenge. Now, a Stonehenge will give us a great profit which I do not want. But a religion does open up. A religion does open up a lot of opportunities for us, not only to try and win the game, right? Maybe going for a religious when it opens that up, I'm going to try and just kill people. But it opens up a lot of era score opportunities. I mean, that's tough. It also opens up a really good theater square here, too, and a really good entertainment complex. 
You could put the entertainment complex in Stogies right here next to, yeah, let's go for the cheesy Stonehenge. That'll be error score. Let's grab the builder. Let's chop it out real fast. It's all about the error score, baby. Let's take Cahokia and kick uh, Victoria out of Vatican City. All right, there's three error score. So in the end, we're not going to need the religion. We're not going to need the religion at all, but what is good is we can keep the great prophet and pop the religion later. We're getting this great merchant and we are getting this great writer. So we'll be fine, thankfully, with Aeroscore. Cutting it close, though, ladies and gentlemen. Cutting it really fracking close. Interestingly, there's still a lot of good land to settle down here. You definitely want to get a Giant's Causeway settle in if you can. That'll be error score, and we need as much error score as possible. I think I might come back here after the Stonehenge and grab another couple settlers. We're economizing fine. We're going to build our military in other cities. I think you can just spam out some settlers here. There's a triple nighter city in here we're definitely going to want. I think there's just lots to do here. Uh, we are going to kill... Uh, England soon, but it's, we don't need to rush it, right? All right, so for policy cards, what we're going to do is we are going to swap in the um, unit upgrade card so we can upgrade our crossbows or our archers to crossbows. What does our watch want? Okay, well, good for you, watch. We're definitely going to do that, absolutely. We're going to keep our faith rolling here. We want to make sure we can get our heroes back because that's error score. We don't need serfdom in this second. I don't think. So let's try and figure out. I think production award settlers goes in. You actually do wonders to get the Stonehenge quicker and then production award settlers. Yeah, that helps get the Stonehenge a lot quicker. So let's do that. There we go. Two turns on the Stonehenge. So we've already hit the error score requirement. We're good. Error score rolls over in this game mode, so we don't need to worry about going over. Totally fine. I think that's perfect. I think for military stuff, man, getting the Malon Raiders is very, very good. I think once we get the Malon Raiders, which we are going to get boosted with an armory, I think at that point we just kind of... I just think at that point we kind of go hard with the Raiders and, and kill England. All right, we did it! I'm stressing. This game is making me think so hard. This game is making me think so freaking hard, man. All right, we got the Stonehenge. That's perfect. Stonehenge down. Good stuff. I can't remember the last time I built the Stonehenge, but we got it. It's good. The Stonehenge is in. Vicky is in a Golden Age, so we can still kill her this era, which we are going to do with our Malon Raiders, which is awesome. Um, so plan of attack next is definitely to come and kill uh, Vicky. We have the Great Prophet. We are just going to have our Great Prophet sleep. We'll pop the religion when we have the faith to support it. We, the last thing we want to do is pop our religion and then have Saladin or someone else come and ruin our day. We'll also keep a track of the religious victory. If anyone's winning that, then we'll start to worry a little bit and pop our religion. Let's fix up the outer defenses. I can buy some of these buildings here. What's really uh, good is if I can just spam out some more settlers. We have this giant's causeway settle we're going to want for error score. It looks like we're going to have a settle, a settle or two up here that look really, really juicy that I want to take away from the AI. So I think we'll, we'll prioritize those things. I also think this is a great spot to leave off the video. Next era, definitely going to be all about going to war with Vicky and kind of taking over Sheffield, London, and Liverpool. Hopefully, maybe the Khmer will help us. I'm not really sure on that. What are they up to? Oh, there's all kinds of... Oh, Vicky did try and settle over here, and the Khmer took her over. That's unfortunate for her. Uh, but I think that'll be the plan of attack for the next episode. This episode, all about just stressing about Aeroscore, man. Um, but we are economizing really well. The Oracle is, is paying off in, in spades right now. We're getting a lot of great people. We're getting a lot of great people points. All of that feels really good. So we are, we are economizing. We're setting up a good base here. We are at a good science and culture level, although Saladin's really far ahead, and we're going to have to catch up. Otherwise, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe button are around. Uh, let me know what you thought in the comments. Find us on Twitch or Discord or wherever you want to hang out with us. All the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.